Hi, I'm Jay Foster. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we're reviewing the 10 Cognitive Distortions, published by Dr. David Burns in his landmark book, Feeling Good, which has sold over 4 million copies in the U.S. and has been published in dozens of countries. Our minds play tricks on us by distorting our thoughts. And the 10 Cognitive Distortions describe all the ways in which this happens. This is fascinating stuff. Cognitive distortion number one, all or nothing thinking. The mind uses extreme black or white categories to describe something. We're either together or we're not. I'm going to be a world champion or an utter failure. In reality, there are many variations along a continuum or shades of gray to every situation. Cognitive distortion number two, overgeneralization. If something happens once, it will happen over and over again. Keywords here are always and never. I'm always bored in small towns. I can't be friends with anyone younger than 30 because they're all too immature. These, of course, are overgeneralizing or blanket statements that keep us engulfed in limitation and negative thinking. Rarely is a statement true that includes the words always or never. Cognitive distortion number three, mental filter. Mental filter is where the mind has us fixate on a single, potentially irrelevant detail. And it uses that detail to ruin the whole experience. The whole day at the park was awful because I stumbled and dropped my ice cream cone in the dirt. There is no way they'll ever hire me. I had a visible mustard stain on the lapel of my suit jacket. The whole interview went horribly. There are many, many moments that make up a day, a meeting, an outing. Some moments are preferential and desirable, and others aren't. Cognitive distortion number four, disqualifying the positive. Disqualifying the positive is when we take compliments and we turn them around to be negative. The mind makes up a story that twists a compliment around so that it becomes negative and couldn't possibly be genuine. They're only saying how smart I am because they want me to do their work for them. Yeah, she just complimented my shoes because she hates my outfit. Although the mind tries to convince us otherwise, there are actually moments when we are truly genuine. And there's moments when each of us is beautiful. Moments when we're successful and moments when we're truly appreciated. Cognitive distortion number five, jumping to conclusions. These are also called mind reading or fortune telling errors. This distortion occurs when you assume you know what someone else is thinking or what their motives are, and also includes assumptions you make when playing out the future in your mind as if it were fact. Nobody is ever gonna buy this product until it can fly higher than 1,000 feet. If she is elected, our whole environment will be destroyed. In actuality, we're very poor predictors of what will actually happen in the future. Cognitive distortion number six, magnification and minimization. Blowing things up out of proportion or shrinking them down. This is also called catastrophizing. If I don't pass this exam, I will die. If I'm late again, I'll lose my job. They'll just fire me right there on the spot. Rarely are situations truly dire in our lives. Cognitive distortion number seven, emotional reasoning. This happens when we take our emotions as truth. Because we feel a certain way, we believe that something must have happened to cause that feeling. She said she didn't do it, but she must have sold my puppy or else I wouldn't be so furious at her right now. Emotions are not evidence or facts. Just because a person is angry or upset is not evidence that something actually occurred. Cognitive distortion number eight, should statements. When you try to make changes in your life simply because you feel like you should, it rarely works out because you end up feeling resentful or guilty. I should respond right away to his text messages. I should give more money to help my cousin. I should start running 10 miles a day. The word should and feelings of guilt can often be found sandwiched together like peanut butter and jelly. The best actions are born from your inner passion to do good, not from statements that begin with should. Dang, that rhymes. Cognitive distortion number nine, labeling. Labeling has to do with identity, a single word we use to identify ourselves or others. He's a moron. She's a mess. He can't lead us. 
He's a milk toast. We all know that a single blanket label to describe a person is impossible because each of us is a phenomenal living dynamic being. Cognitive distortion number 10, personalization. Personalization is when you assume something happens that is directly related to you, even when it may not be. She's moving all the way across the country because she thought I insulted her nephew. He got pneumonia because he knew I would have to come in on my day off work. Sometimes things just happen that have absolutely nothing to do with us. And there they are, the 10 cognitive distortions. Now you know all the ways your mind exaggerates and distorts what you're seeing. Click the subscribe button for more bits of wisdom for transforming, rising above, and creating. We'll see you next time. I'm out.